He's more machine now than man. Twisted and evil. Hello everyone, and welcome to another episode of Zareth Prevails. Folks, you might be using Vader poorly on Geos. You might be losing banners, and in Geo... Well, in Geo, you're not using it in Geo TB, are you? You're, you're using Vader to kill nothing, because you don't use Vader in t territory battles. But in GAC, <laughs> you are probably dropping banners, and that is a big deal, actually, folks. I'm going to show you how to do this the best way. Huge thanks to, I believe his name is Xavier. Feel free to comment in the comments, and I will pin your name uh, to the top just to make sure you get credit. So, so at one point, someone pointed out, one of my viewers pointed out that I was doing this poorly, uh, because I was. I was doing it uh, inoptimally, and I was like, well, this, that's stupid. Like, I, I'm winning every time, right? And the fact is, Yes, I was winning, but there's a way better way to do it that's going to get you, uh, you know, it's going to reduce your RNG and it's going to help you keep all of your banners. So I'm going to show you four different examples. I'll show you a couple pieces of the kit and everything, you know, the strategy, some of the mods to look at and everything. And then we're going to go and um, I'll show you four different examples. And it'll start from like kind of perfectly executed, like the ideal way to do it to the point where it's like, you know, RNG is not on our side, we don't hit hard enough, whatever, and then even down to the point where you don't follow this <laughs> this guideline and kind of how you pull yourself out. So uh, we're going to do that before we start and do anything. Just want to remind you guys, we're trying to mount the algorithm and it's been working, guys. This channel's been growing. I really appreciate you. Just please hit that sub button or if, you have, if you've already done that, uh, you know, like or a comment in the comment area is going to be a huge help tremendous help in this in our endeavors so with that said folks let's look at the kits real quick just a couple elements to it because we're going to be using palpatine lead and vader we're going to look at their the important elements there so first off this is palpatine oh wow okay there we go so this is palpatine and his leadership uh, the, the important part is when an Empire ally, that's Vader, or, you know, other Empire characters, as you might uh, guess. Uh, so if they inflict a debuff during their turn, they get 20% turn meter. Same with Sith. Oh, no, when a Sith ally inflicts debuffs. But who cares about the Sith thing? Like, so they were, they heal themselves as well. So that that's fun. But what we're talking about here is Vader. And the Empire thing, you gain 20% turn meter. That is a pretty big deal, obviously. Vader... Of course, he uses his Force Crush, and that does, potentially, it put it like speed down on everyone and up to three damage over times. So if there's five enemies, or in this case six, because it's against Geos, then, I mean, you, you get tons of turn meter just from doing this Force Crush, and it can't be countered, which is nice. Uh, and then one other thing here, guys, Culling Blade, this is important for a uh, part of our, our methodology here. So uh, when you... Let's see, so it deals more damage based on how many how many things are dispelled, how many buffs are dispelled, let's see. Uh, it grants 100% turn meter if the target is defeated, which is important, guys. So, those are the important elements to it. I mean, he does, he also does ability block for one turn and stuff. Uh, he, he does some cool stuff. Merciless Massacre, obviously, you guys can read that. You, most of you already know what it does, but just something for you guys to keep in mind. All of these things are important elements to it. So let's go, let's jump over to the video section and I'll show you guys how this all works. Whoa, we're in the video section, apparently? Madness. All right, we are on my alt here, folks. This is my alt. Welcome to my alt, it's fancy. Now it's, uh, so Vader is Relic 3 here with, I think, all potency mods. He doesn't have offense on him, which is maybe foolish, potentially, I'm, I'm guessing. But he's important, uh, or, you know, th that's important to note. We also have Thrawn, and if we do this, uh, you can kind of, uh, you can rearrange how fast Vader is based on how many people you take with him. If, uh, in this case, I have it structured so that if he, you know, he's fast, he gets 32 speed between him and Palp and another 
8 speed from Thrawn. If it, so, Thrawn barely, barely outspeeds him in this case. If I took another Empire character, then or a Sith character for that matter, then Vader would go first. And we, so we only want to you take three here, uh, because we want Thrawn to go first. Now it's an important thing. Other things to keep in mind: you can check your Geonosian, uh, uh, the the Brood Alpha, and his his tenacity and his speed. The tenacity is actually a really important factor. And I'm going to actually pause for one second so that we can look at Brood Al or so we can look at his stats, because that, that's actually an important part of the kit. Alright, sorry for that little jump there, folks, but this is also important. An important element. So here's the thing, guys. Brood Alpha gets plus 60 tenacity if just from its kit. And I, I think, honestly, I'm going to remod him to have tenacity, because I don't want... Uh, otherwise, you know, he can be kind of fast, but it costs a lot of good speed mods. But then, if you can just... He has 53... Or he has 50 base tenacity, so he's 110 base tenacity. You can get the Brood Alpha to an enormous amount of tenacity and make it very, very difficult for Vader to actually apply any of these debuffs. And on top of that, I mean, uh, so there, there's a lot of different calculations and we, we don't need to get into it, but the other piece of it, guys, is I guess that Palpatine also does with his leadership allow you, uh, he helps you, he gives you uh, plus 35% potency on, on everything. So Vader needs a lot of potency if you can get him that, and the Geos, if they're modded well, can have over 200% potency, or tenacity, making it almost impossible to apply debuffs if Vader is mediocrely <laughs> uh, modded. So, alright, let's get back to the video. Uh, so, here's, here it is, guys. We're, we're taking, we want Thrawn to be fast here. So, let's see. I push the button. Hopefully, it actually goes. There we go. So, this is a Relic 3 Vader. Keep that in mind, guys. Relic 3 with only potency mods. And remember, this is after the nerf, so... Alright, first thing, we have Thrawn. Put Fracture on the Brute, so Brute doesn't hit us back. This is important for a lot of reasons. And now, we do Force Crush. Doesn't matter on who, but we get another turn, which is also important, because we applied all those debuffs. Now, uh, we can... We want to target that Spy if there's a, if there's some debuffs, and just take out Spy right away, because Spy's the biggest threat here. Spy will end our day pretty quick. If we don't kill Spy, you guys will see in a minute. Uh, I'll show you an example of when we don't kill Spy. We don't do enough damage. Now, uh, this is important, folks. It, you'll want to hit Force Crush here. It, you still have a couple things in Merciless Massacre. Force Crush is really fun. But you need to keep it, guys. This is a thing that I was doing all the time. You just spam that button. You want to hit Force Crush because it's a special. You want all those, de all those debuffs. I get it. You don't want to do that here. That is a really important aspect to this. So, we're just going to instead do a basic. We can do a basic on anyone. And you see the Brute Alpha, or the Brute, we can hit him and he won't hit us back. It's great. So, it, it doesn't matter. But, you know. Sun fact, do not do Culling Blade either. We want to save those, folks, because we want an endless, merciless massacre. Okay, so now we're done with our initial hits. Uh, you know, with Merciless Massacre's over. We get our, like, bonus turn at the end of Merciless. But, uh, so we can actually have... We're two away from Merciless Massacre. Here's the thing. If we do a Force Crush, we'll get all of those... Uh, we'll get all those debuffs out there, and we'll get a bonus turn, because we get so much TM from Palpatine's lead. And then, if we can use Culling Blade on someone and defeat them, then we get a 100% turn meter, which is basically another bonus turn, and we can start Merciless once again. So, we're going to do Force Crush, doesn't matter who we target in this case. And then, it's because we have Thrawn here, there's no taunt on that Brute, and we can just toss the Saber at Soldier, or at Poggle for that matter, it doesn't miss. Poggle has high evasion, so we could, and he has low health, typically. So, alright, took out Poggle, and now we get Merciless, and now we can just take it to him, right? I mean, <laughs> they, they haven't taken a turn, they're just sitting there. And so probably should do Force Crush on that Sunfac, actually. But, uh, you know, we're biding our time. Uh, people wonder why I don't cull the Brood Alpha right away. It's because he has an enormous health pool, guys. If your Vader is not super duper strong, then maybe it's wise to actually just have... Uh, maybe it's just wise to kill everyone surrounding him first. And that's, that's what I'm doing here, because my Vader isn't that strong. 
All right, so we got perfect banners there. That was the perfect example. Now let's go into one that is slightly less awesome. This is on my Prevail Man account. This is a 3 million GP account. So we're up against full gear 12 Geos, and I don't have a good Thrawn. He's not fast enough. And so I also don't really have a Darth Revan at this point that I was recording. So we have instead uh, Treya and Basti, if we want. This Darth Vader is Relic 1, I believe, and he is modded for speed. He's not modded for potency or anything. He's just modded for speed. And you can see Palpatine's only gear, gear 11. Basti is gear 11. Apparently I got her up uh, to that point. And then Treya is gear 10. So, you know, this can be dicey. You need to make sure that your Vader's fast enough. If you need to be faster, you can always add another Sith or Empire character. So, in this case, uh, you know, this is the team we need. Uh, there's, there are issues, though, of course, because now the Brute er, er, is not fractured. And that, that causes issues. We, I mean, Thrawn is nice. You don't always have him available. So, once again, Vader needs to be the fastest. You do the Force Crush, and then you go into Merciless, and, uh, okay, so there's two, there's three debuffs on Spy. Maybe we kill Spy. Oh, we didn't actually kill Spy. Okay, so, like I said, we're, we're, there are iterations of things going worse and worse, remember? So, we're, we're just going to go around the world here. Do not do the Force Crush. That, that's very important because of reasons. You'll see. Remember, they all share a health pool here, and so, uh, you know, you're actually hurting all of them by, you know, whenever they hit one of them, you, you hurt all of them. So, alright, do the Force Crush, Merciless is over, do the Force Crush, get another turn, and there, there's a Taunt on the Brute, so you need to take out the Brute, if you can. Okay, kill the Brute, great, so we get another, we get a bonus turn, and now we can do Merciless once again, just go around the world here. Got him. Uh, when it's on Sunfac, you probably want to do a Force Crush. Because you don't want Sunfac to hit us. Uh, because he can counter against Spy. Do the Culling Blade. And there we go. <clears throat> and now Basti's here to kind of back us up a little bit if we need to. Everyone, you know, both of them are feared. And it's whatever. I mean, we're, we're good to go, right? I mean, Brood Alpha actually just died of sadness. I'd love, it. love to see it. And there we go. Perfect banners once again. All right, well, you guys ready for the next iteration of pain, where things go worse? Okay, so this is this is Prevail Man once again, and we're facing a tougher Geo Squad, and we don't have Basti around because now Basti is with her friend Darth Revan, and we we have uh, instead a Gear Eight Mara Jade. We, I mean, she's still good, but she, she's <laughs> she's Gear Eight. She's great. She's not. She's not super well modded. I mean, three stars. Just you know, worse than a gear eleven Basti in this case. Uh, otherwise, I mean, Vader's the same. He's modded for speed, not for potency or anything. And these Geos, uh, you know, once again, Vader is the fastest around. So that's good. Let's see how this one goes. Are you guys excited? I'm excited. This is exciting. So, here we go. We can do the Force Crush, Merciless, and then, okay, should we kill the Spy? Alright, we did get the Spy this time, yay, but other things go wrong, as you'll see. So, we miss Poggle, which sucks, uh, you know, we have to hit the Brute, he hits us back, that's not fun. Hit the Soldier, hit Sunfac, Merciless is over, so now we do the Force Crush. And remember, this is a Relic, Brute, and Brute Alpha. So, we don't kill the Brute, and that's the thing that goes wrong. We don't kill him, so we don't get the bonus turn. But, here's the thing, guys. We've dispelled enough debuffs here that everyone on his team gained 5% turn meter for every debuff that was dispelled. So, even this Mara Jade, who is only gear 8 and not very well modded, she still goes before all the Geos because she gains so much turn meter. So, uh, you know, she's going to throw do her one of her AoEs, and, of course... Um, just get killed from counterattacks, so not, it's not going to be great banners, but, okay, so Palpatine goes, he does his AoE, we stun some people, and there's no taunt anymore, and we can get past here just because we had people to back him up. That's, that's why you generally want a third. I know that people like to just take two, and you can do it safely sometimes, but 
it's probably wise sometimes to take a third, because Mara Jade, without Mara Jade to help there, there, there's doubt that we would have been able to get through it. Okay, Mer Seca Merciless is over. Take out Poggle here, and, uh, you know, things are looking decent, but they're, they're not, like, perfect. Okay, get another Merciless here. Great. Wonderful. And, you know, we do have a bunch of debuffs on this guy. We, we could probably take him out. Just trying to figure out what to do. Okay, so do do the do the hit, and then we have to hit the brood, and he he hits us back. But remember, Vader also does heal when dots are expired, like when when damage over time is expired. So that was that was a little bit foolish of Palp. He just did his basic, and he got a love tap from brute, and great. Okay, so not perfect banners there, obviously, but we still got through it. You just if you have a third person to back you up, it's going to help give you a little bit of insurance there. Now, this is on my main account, and I was super distracted. We were on the Gambit livestream. I'd been streaming already for about four hours, and I knew this. This, this was just recently, a couple, a couple matches ago. A lot of you probably have seen it, but this is, this is definitely one that uh, I just forgot the plan. The plan just went to, by the wayside, and uh, I mean, I knew it. I, I absolutely did. Oh, look at that. We're gonna we're gonna look at some stats. So the guy didn't mod for tenacity, it looks like. He modded for some speed. 300 speed on Brood Alpha is actually pretty good. Uh, though my Vader is is also very fast, so that, that wasn't a concern. Vader was gonna go first, regardless. So come on, dude. Just click battle. So we've got we've got a relic Mara Jade here as well. And actually, I, I would like to try this with just Palp and Mara Jade at some point. I think it might be possible. Not entirely certain though because there, there's certain RNG elements that could really go south for us if if uh, they were to happen so uh, all right so we're not following the plan you'll you'll see this momentarily you'll see and uh, keep in mind this this might be the first time I've ever used Mara Jade on offense I think she's always been on defense so little tiny bit awkward here and okay so she does that and she does get another turn. Uh, okay, this is the right way to do it. So you get the tenacity down, you get the stagger on everyone. And she was faster, apparently, than Vader, so that's, that's fancy. And then Palpatine, of course, gets turns. You can do the AoE here. And this is why I didn't follow it, because everything is so different. All the turn order is different, because Mara Jade is so ridiculously fast. So do the Force Crush, great. Vader is following it. You do Merciless Massacre, put Spy out. And it doesn't look like we're gonna kill Spy. Like we've we've missed on Spy. I think the Spy dodged the the debuffs that we did. So, uh, yeah, trying to figure out how many debuffs are on Poggle here because we can't see it, and we just want to take someone out if we can. The soldier, the Spy, someone. And it's like, okay, well, let's try the Spy. Okay, great. It's, you know, this is a Relic Eight Vader. He should kill a Spy, even though the Spy's Relic and only had three debuffs. Good. Okay, so. So now we want to not do Force Crush, right? Don't do Force Crush. Oh, I did Force Crush. Damn it all. All right, so I guess we'll save the Culling Blade at least. <laughs> I mean, I recognize it right away that I, I failed here. But, I mean, this is a huge fail. But if you're strong enough, you can just hit your way out, apparently. I thought this was a harder fight than that, actually, guys. <laughs> but we'll keep it in here anyways. Uh, you know, we're not following the dictates, but here's the thing, Mara J did get hit, so we're gonna drop a banner here regardless. So Thrawn, Thrawn is ideal here, but Thrawn is, Thrawn is often off somewhere else doing something fancy with himself. Oh, it looks like Mara Jade actually didn't cost us a banner, but one way or another, guys, this is how you do it. This is how you use Vader versus Geos, and I know that maybe it seems like minutia seems really, like, like it it's not worth like trying to change your mindset on it, but it really is. Like you're gonna you're gonna save banners. You're gonna make things a lot easier for yourself if you adopt this methodology. And a lot of times the geos aren't gonna get a turn at all. So I'm gonna call it good here, guys. Thank you all so much for watching. And remember that in all things, Zareth prevails, <laughs> and geos do not. Cause screw the geos, man. Actually, that's kind of messed up. If you guys know what ha what the Empire did to them after Episode 3, not cool, bro.